King's Avatar Season 2 Episode 11. Wow. Um, <clears throat> Yeshu finally gets his cleric. Okay. Eh, nakala, well, nakala na, nakala na lahat babae talaga ang owner ng account na to. No, nope. it's a guy. <laughs> it's a guy. Okay, it's confirmed. So, si, si Yeshu na lang ang kumausap. And, he agrees. Kasi, well, it's Yeshu himself who negotiated for his account. Who is, oh, who's negotiating with him na. So, iba na yung, iba na yung ikaw the king, eh, no? Iba na yung ikaw yung pinakamagaling na player sa buong glory. Uh, anybody will listen to you. <clears throat> so, final scene, well, yung, I, I, I forgot his name. I forgot her, I, I always forget his, yeah, his girl's name. Their bosses, their boss, uh, forms a chat group na sila sila lang. Kasi, <clears throat> technically, technically, buo na ang team ni Yeju. Ang team happy. Alright? So, whew. Okay. Overall, it's a good setup for the finale. Oh, gulat nyo, no? Yes, episode 11 eh. So, susunod dito is the finale. Okay? I told you, um, I told you since episode 8, we're on the road to finale. We're on the road to the finale. And the next time I review this, it's already the season 2 finale. Alright? And this episode is a good setup. Okay? Kasi, dito pa lang, nabuo na ang team ni Yeshu. Alright? So, kasi, ang ano yata sa, sa Glory Pro League, you should have at least 5 players in your team. So, he has his 5 already. Uh, their manager, their boss, uh, forms a chat group na na isinali sila lahat. So, para mag-usap-usap sila. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Overall, it's a really good episode. Okay? It's a really good episode. Um, I couldn't see any, um, couldn't see any drawbacks in this one. That would, that would warrant a lower rating. Okay. Sa di, di, dito ko na excited. Eh. Dito ko na excited. The lead character finally finally has his own team. All right? And he calls it Team Happy. Happy. Yun lang. Kasi merong excellent era, merong samsara, merong uh, ano, moving blossoms pa yun. O sa his team is called Happy. Okay. So facing flow Okay naman. Okay lang. But, I truly get the the plot of this episode. Okay, talagang gets na gets ko. So, The King's Avatar Season 2 Episode 11? Sige na nga. <laughs> two thumbs up. <laughs> two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, guys. Well, <clears throat> like I said a while ago, this is a good setup for the finale. Kasi, nakita yun, nakita naman natin lahat. Right? Yeju now has his own team. Limang player na sila. With him as the captain. With him as the captain. The king himself is the captain. So, I couldn't ask for a, I couldn't ask for a better setup for, for the finale. At yung finale, it's been teasered already. I'm not going to go into spoilers. You should you should watch episode 11 to find out. Alright? So again, The King's Avatar Season 2 Episode 11. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, guys. So, what are you waiting for? Watch episodes 8 to 11 at least. Para ma set up na ang mga utak ninyo for the finale. Yan ang assignment ko sa inyo mga ka lifestyle. Okay? That will be my assignment to you, Twitch. Watch episodes 8 to 11 before the finale this Friday. Okay? So yun. Gawin nyo na.
All right, I'm standing on 1 million lives episode. Ano ba episode to? Teka lang, check ko ha. Forgot me. Nine. I never knew Cabell would can be this ruthless. <laughs> Talagang ginantihan niya yung uh, yung pumatay do sa aid niya. Yung tatlong sudalo. Talagang she was talagang uh, Yotsuya and Yotsuya and, and the other heroes gave her a free hand on this. Na siya mismo ang siya mismo papatay. Na siya mismo papatay do sa sa head na yun. Ayun nga. And yung tatlong yung tatlong sundalo yun from Diok. Di ba yung isang pugot na ulo? Yung dalawa pinugutan pa nila ng ulo, yun ang ginawa nilang ah uh, ebidensya sa ano pag pagdating nila sa sa Rotodorbo na the kingdom of Jock is up to no is up to no good. Yun ang ebidensya nila yung tatlong ulo. <laughs> They were able to complete the quest uh, through Kusue and Yu. Kasi di ba nag-split up sila? They were able to traverse 5% of the map. Dahil sa ginawa nila. So that was uh That was the buzzer beater right there. Yung pagkaka... Yung pagkaka-traverse nila ng buong map. Because they... Because they were able to... They, were, they split into two groups. So... Na... Na-explore nila yung map ang yun. At least 5%. Yun. Naabot nila yung 5%. Galing. Ang galing. But... Wow! Okay? The violence of this anime just... Went on a whole new level, all right. And what? Well, Pero palang ane? Eh. Pero palang weakness sa tinatago ng to si ano, si Cavill. She couldn't. Um, she she's having a hard time. Uh, she's having a hard time. Uh, what you call this? Exhibiting an attitude of gratitude. Okay, siempre. Eh. She's a warrior. She's a knight. Matas, medyo, oh, medyo matas ang pride. But she was able to lower that just to thank, uh, just to thank Yotsuya. Uh, tinulungan siyang, uh, tinulungan siyang ipagiganti ang aid niya, yung, pag, yung pagkamatay nun. Wow. I can't believe, um, I can't believe this anime is getting better by the episode. Starting from episode 7. To tell you frankly. But we're on the road to its finale now. Started last, started just last episode, and now we're episode nine. Overall, it is a really good episode. Okay, flow, pacing, you, you, okay. These are the kinds of episodes I can call a plot within a plot. Ang ganda, ang ganda na pagkaka set up na, ang ganda na pagkaka pagkaka set up ng episode nato. Wait. Yung pagkaka-plot ng episode na to. Ang ganda. Uh, so far, so far it's this anime's best episode. Alright? So far it's this anime's best episode. Uh, and rightfully so because it's the road to the finale. Okay? It's the road to this anime's finale. So, it be- so yeah. It, li- it lived up to expectations. It is a really good episode. Okay. So, I'm standing on one million lives episode nine. Two thumbs up. Okay. Two thumbs up. Wow. Talagang uh, Cavill was a revelation here. Cavill was a, was. Uh, I think she was. Uh, she was the breakout character. Uh, in this episode, ha? in this episode, she was the breakout character. Talagang uh, she yung uh, she was the driving force that made this episode really good. Okay, because well, she started by <laughs> cutting cutting the head, cutting Dios head officer's head off, yeah, <laughs> clean off its neck. Fuck. Pati yung braso nun, pinutol niya. Talagang, yung, yung, 
Hindi lang na-satisfy yung desire niya for revenge, pati yung bloodlust niya <laughs> na-satisfy dito. We now see how much of a uh, how much of a killer Cabell can be. Alright? How much of a killer she can be. Talagang you give her what you call this? You give her a free hand in these kinds of in these kinds of schemes sooner than you expect mission accomplished na mission accomplished na for Cabell so again I'm standing on 1 million lives episode 9 a uh, a head cutting two thumbs up <laughs> so tandaan nyo mga kalaistan tandaan ninyo alright we are on the road to the finale. Started in episode 8, we're now in episode 9. So, 3 episodes to go. And then, 2 episodes to go before before this anime ends. So, ano dapat gawin? Eh, di tumutok na kayo! Alright? Before you actually miss out on this anime. Right? Before you actually miss out on this anime. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 26. Wow. Yuga finds a way to beat Neil. All right. One of the most uh one of the most mind-blowing duel wins ever. All right. One of the most mind-blowing duel wins ever, guys. You see, he had to go to great lengths to um even uh, what's it called this? To even erase the accounts of Luke, Gakuto, and Romin. Para makabuo siya ng maximum, yung mga maximum, uh, maximum cards. For him to, to make his own maximum monster. Nagawa niya. The duel actually went back and forth. Alright? Then, all of a sudden, naalala niya, may pakatong effect pala. <laughs> si... Si Magnum overrode, right? Yun ang nagamit niya against Neil. Okay? Whatever Neil um, did to him to in the first duel, he did that. He did exactly that to Neil in the in this one. <laughs> in OTK rin niya. Alright? OTK City, folks. Grabe. <clears throat> and, eto ang agandahan. Ito ang, ano eh, Ito ang nakaka-empower niyan. Ito nakaka-empower niyan. Every single elementary school student in Goa City supported him. E, nearly everybody rooted for him. Kaya, kahit yung mga dual di sila, nilagyan din ng limang penalty. Okay? Because they, they chose to side with Yuga. Y- yun ang punishment mo. Yun ang punishment ni Neil. So, lahat sila. Okay? So, whatever happens now, so whatever happens, if Yuga does lose, and maraming accounts about to terminate, okay? Which, well, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure if, if that happens, well, Neil is going to get in trouble with Goa up, with uh, Goa higher office for that. Kasi, almost 80% of accounts ang madidelete, okay? Almost 80% of accounts ang madidelete. That is bad business for Goha. Okay? Baka yung pang ikalugi nila. If, uh, if nearly nobody is playing, uh, nobody is playing, uh, playing this game. Right? Baka yung pang ikalugi nila. So, uh, Neil realized na, well, Neil probably realized that, well, this is the end of my providence. Hanggang baka, Siguro, doon niya na nag-guess na hanggang doon na lang siya. Okay. So, overall, it is a really good episode, okay? Typical Yu-Gi-Oh! episode! <laughs> Typical Yu-Gi-Oh! episode! Grabe! <clears throat> the dual script, well, okay? The animators never fail to, to, to put together a dual script that is worthy uh, of its fans. They did it again here. And, okay, the pace, the flow, 
Shut up ako, okay? Shut up ako. The pace and flow, again, shut up ako. But, is this the end of another mini arc? Or, um, or, uh, season one of Sevens? Kasi because, by the, by the way, um, by the way, Yuga and Neil dueled, okay? It took them two episodes, okay? It took them two episodes. Parang ano na nga eh. It felt like a season finale. It actually felt like a season finale. But I don't know, huh? Probably, um, probably the first half of season one. Yun ang tansya ko. Okay? Being a, uh, being a long-time viewer of this anime franchise, medyo nagigits ko na kung paano ang uh, kung paano ang work ang usual workflow ng Konami when it comes to storytelling that they impart to the an- to um to the to the animation studio they partner with in this case Studio Bridge okay water break hey <laughs> water break so Yu-Gi-Oh 7s episode 26 Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Okay? <clears throat> Mainly because there is the prospects that season one has ended. Okay? There's there's the, pros- the prospects here that either, well, dalawang, 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 dalawang possibilities lang yan. Either season one has ended, what we just saw was the finale, or the first half of season one has ended. Okay. Pero um, I don't want to base it solely on conspiracy theories before on the pre the pre pilot conspiracy theories na this will be a <clears throat> that sevens will have a short run far from it but if this is any indication this may either be <clears throat> episode 26 may be the season finale or the halfway point of season 1. Alright? <clears throat> because normally, hindi, and then, well, um, Konami has done that uh, before actually with Vrains. Vrains okay? season 1 ended with episode, I think, 29 or 30. Okay? Kasi it's only 100, it's only 120 episodes. So, episode 30. Yeah, that um, at that point season one has ended. Okay. And then season and then episode twenty eight, yung <clears throat> yung huling laban, yung huling duel nila playmaker ni revolver, okay. in, in which uh, in which playmaker won again, <laughs> in which playmaker won revolver wasn't able to beat playmaker. All throughout that series, okay? Wala. 3-0 siya nun. <laughs> Tin-3-0 siya ni Playmaker. This is how OP, this is, well, this was how OP, uh, a main character, uh, Yusaku was. Also known as Playmaker. But anyway, so it's either, going back to Vrains, uh, Vrains, 7th episode, episode 26. So it's either, the season finale, or the halfway point of season 1. Right? Pero malakas ang kutub ko na this is the season finale. Okay? Kasi, uh, kung ibibase nyo sa teaser for the next episode, parang panibago na naman eh. Uh, uh, what you call this? Panibago... Panibagong episode that is, uh, that I feel it's not part of an arc or mini arc. The Neil arc Ito, siguro ang first major art na, ng show na to. Ng anime na to. The, what, I, what I can call the Neil art. Kasi it involves uh, so far the main the first main antagonist of uh, uh, of this show. Si Neil. Okay. He went to great lengths just to screw Yuga and uh, to completely uh, to completely crush Rush Duels but to no avail. He eventually lost. He eventually lost, and due to his um, sense of fairness, okay, for for 
for an arch villain, he has that sense of fairness, okay? <laughs> Nagkaroon siya ng ano na penalties? Account deleted? Well, he is technically fired from Goha because of this. Kasi naka... naka ano na penalty na rin siya eh. Naka ano na penalty. Siya, siya lang naka ano na penalty. Kasi siyang... siyang talo. Siya na talo eh. So technically, he's now fired from Goha. Si Santi na siya. So yeah. Wow. I can't believe... Uh, there is a new summoning method in town. And uh, I don't have any idea... Konami hasn't given any ideas yet if it will become an official summoning method for either the OCG, the Rush Duel format, or both. Okay? It's yet to be seen. Okay? We've yet to hear it from Konami. But anyway, again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 26? Two thumbs up. A season ending two thumbs up. As a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan, I cannot wait for the next episode. Okay? I just cannot wait for the next episode. King's Raid Episode 9. First demons now undead. <laughs> Exciting, no? But anyway, um, they're faced with a well, the he, uh, Castle and Company are faced with another with another moral dilemma here. <clears throat> Balak pa lang, tinatago pa lang, tinatago pa lang ng isang uh, nakilala nila yung uh, yung asawa niya na undead na. So pag sinay mo undead. Wala na talagang buhay yun. Walking corpse na. She's a, she's a walking corpse. Okay? No. Scientifically, no brain function. Uh, spiritually, no more soul. No soul or conscience. So, hindi pa niya, pina, hindi pa niya, hindi pa niya, uh, hindi pa niya pinapatay ito. Eh, kailangan na. Okay? Kasi, uh, I think Roy has um, Roy has some experience with undead before. So, tsaka, nabasa na ron yun sa Tower of the Sage, sa library nila, about what, what, what undead can do. The records from 100 years ago, yun ang nabasa niya. So, um, yun pala, yun pala itong lalaking ito, tatay pala ni Elise. Okay? Tatay pala ni Elise ito. So, they probably struck a deal with, uh, with, with this guy na, okay, we'll show you, we'll show you where your daughter is. If you tell us kung nasaan yung tamang pat papuntang yung mountain na, tina, na, na gusto nilang puntahan for, for the second key. Okay. So, siguro, nag-agree na finally kills his wife finally ends finally ends the un- uh, finally ends the undead so yun nga final episode uh, he's reunited with his daughter si Elise medyo medyo nakakantik ng puso eh episode na to overall yeah it's a good one proof na this episode is proof that um wow uh that Malduk has already made his move. Okay. He's already made his move. He's already commanded the demons to bring some humans to him. I think ganun ang nangyayari. Gagawin niyang undead. So, wow. Okay. Lumevel na bang kalaban? Giving, our he- giving the heroes more problems. Well, the only way to kill an undead by slicing its head off. Puguta mo ng ulo. Hindi nagagalaw yan. Alright? So, okay. Uh, yeah? Facing? Aha. Uh-huh. 
the flow aha pero yung the way they um the way they present the undead ang hina eh ang hina eh pero nonetheless this is a good episode this is a good episode right so King's Raid episode 9 I could not give it a two thumbs up but uh, giving it a rating lower than this uh, would be well, would be a travesty and justice for me because the heroes have uh, the heroes have to deal with another moral dilemma they have to deal with another moral dilemma so, yun ang, uh, that moral dilemma was act, was what actually saved this episode from from a lower rating. Yun. So again, King's Raid episode 9. One thumb up. One thumb up. So, let's just wait for the next episode, okay? Yashahime episode 9. What can I say? Well, sometimes you gotta have a common sometimes you gotta have a common goal. End an episode and end an episode on a high note. That's all I can say about this episode. Cause at first that at first I am a bounty hunting ng Kambal. Sasaman si Moroha. But eventually uh Juby explained it to them na if Kowa wants uh, wants to find the uh, the dream butterfly faster she has to put up a bounty for it at the very least it's the amount the amount Juby promised to Moroha <laughs> so eventually sumama na rin sila na in taking out si Konton pala one of the four perils they eventually failed to to kill Konton in this episode pero nagbabala si Konton gaganti siya because he has experienced so much, uh, what you call this, talagang napaya siya rito sa tatlong, sa tatlong bida. <laughs> talagang, uh, he almost got his head cut off. Okay? If it weren't for, um, if it weren't for, what you call this, for probably Toa's quick thinking again. Okay? So overall, it's a, it's a good episode. Okay, it's a good episode. Pero parang parang bitin pe, alright? Bitin pa as to how the um, how they weren't able to accomplish their to accomplish their mission na patayin si Konton at dalin yung ulo kay Juby para mabayaran sila ng yung pera ng kailangan. Right? I I believe they could have. Uh, they probably could have done more, but <clears throat> but it still ended on a high note. Because, eh, ano ko pa? Ito si si Mioga, eh, talaga patawa ito. Eh. He, up to now, he is still the com, he is still um, he is still the biggest comic relief of this franchise. He spent all that time while well, uh, all this violence was going on, all this commotion was going on, in looking for. Morocco's Rainbow Pearl na na hinawi ni Konton. Right, so nagkaka tawag dito. Moroha was, Moroha was here crying about the failure. Ito namang si Myoga. Ayan. Lady Moroha. Ito Rainbow, Rainbow Pearl nyo. <laughs> Grabe. <clears throat> Talagang kuto. <laughs> Talagang kuto tatingin. <laughs> Pati yung... Pati yung... Ano niya eh, yung... Timing niya. <laughs> Pati yung timing niya, kutong-kuto eh. So, Yashahime episode 9. Teka ha. Let me put this right here. Right there. So that I can do this. Two thumbs up. Alright. A, um... 
Can I request for assistance to thumbs up? <laughs> so yun nga, mainly because of... Uh, oh, pitin, kung hindi yun yung naging ending, yung... Uh, what's you call this? Uh, his goal, his new goal of revenge ni Konton, at saka yung comic relief ni Mioga, I probably would have given this a lower rating. Alright? Nagkaroon talaga ako ng way para medyo itaas pa ang rating eh. So, I, I cited those two. I looked for consolation in those two. Excuse me! Talaga mukhang seryoso si Konto na makaganda sa tatlo. And of course, the, the son of the of the of the uh, the turtle demon he killed for that armor na na neutral na in, na nagawa ng paraan ni Towa okay so again Yashahime episode 9 two thumbs up right two thumbs up now tinis on next episode mukhang mas maganda to but it remains to be seen so no spoilers alright no spoilers mga ka lifestyle Jujutsu Kaisen episode 9. Alright. So, what can I say about this episode? Uh, at first, akala ako, ano eh, uh, this is going to be a really boring episode because uh, Itadori is actually being groomed for investigative, investi investigative work. Detective work. Inabaw, inabaw. Finormalize ko pa. Detective work. Eh, well, he's starting to, he's starting to get the, get the hang of it. Then, uh, it turns out na, yun nga, mukhang kapwa niya jujutsu ang kalaban nila ngayon. Kapwa pala nila jujutsu to. Pero, uh, corrupt saka evil talaga. At nandamay pa ng disipulo. Right. He even recruited the disciple, the sole witness to his last, uh, to his last killing. So yon. Final scene. Uh, they were about to question that disciple. Tapos pa parang mo ano kung dala niya tador niya parang tatlong. They look like they look like they look like two. They look like two gremlins with uh, two gremlins that went through boot camp. <laughs> Shiv na shiv eh. Walang, walang, walang kabuk-buk sa katawan eh. They look like gremlins, alright? Well, ano to? Ano ba gagawin nila sa bat? Ano ba ano gagawin nila sa batang to? Alright, so talagang... It may, I got stopped in the last step. I got stopped in the final scene. Alright? So, yeah. Overall, it's a... Uh... uh it's a decent episode. It's a decent episode. Why? Kasi uh, binitin tayo ng, mag, ng mabuti dun sa dalawang gremlins na yun. I don't know if, that, if that's part of uh, the team's plan to interrogate this, uh, this disciple. Alright? So the pace, the flow, and plot. Okay? Hands off ako. <laughs> Hands off ako. But in regards to the final scene, I don't know. I don't <laughs> But big big me comic relief. But big big me comic relief. Alright? So, after. Uh, after a thorough review, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 9, two thumbs up. Alright? tell you why. Kasi, knowing the fact na Itadori is being uh, is being hidden. Kasi, lahat na mga lahat na mga good jujutsu alam na patay na siya. They all know that he's already dead. But here he is doing detective, playing detective. Uh, being groomed as a detective. Muna. Kasi, 
um, most of the instructors know that he is alive. Right? So they thought it best na, na to teach him on to teach him some on how to on how to investigate a, a case. Okay? On how uh, on how some jujutsus investigate the matter muna, then report it to the higher ops, then the higher ops will now decide if they can uh, if they can take out this cursed spirit. If they if other jujutsus can take out this cursed spirit. Parang ganun yan. So, dun muna, dun muna pinapasan, dun muna pinapasan ni si Tadori. Because he is being, he, because they are hiding him from everybody else. Kasi, anon, alam ng lahat, patay na siya. Hindi pala, hindi pala nila alam, he's made a, he's made a pact with Soko na. I don't, we still don't know what that pact is. Okay? But, I am now safely assuming that this is the real Itadori. Kasi yung dimino eh, nandun. Walang bahid na, walang bahid ni Suko na. I don't know what happened in, in their fight. Okay? I don't know how he managed to win. But that's, that remains to be seen. So, we'll probably, we'll probably, uh, we'll probably find that out in, uh, in, the next few episodes or the next several episodes okay so again Jujutsu Kaisen episode 9 two thumbs up right two thumbs up if someone hesitant two thumbs up so next episode uy mukhang may mukhang magkaabakbakan na naman tayo right no spoilers no spoilers mga kalay style we've yet to review that Alright, Moriarty the Patriot episode 8. This reminds me of, of I probably one of one of the last Sherlock Holmes books, okay, where he was framed for murder. I, I forgot the title. This is where actually Mor Moriarty in introduced himself in in the storyline of Sherlock Holmes. So yeah, ganito, ganito, ganito yun. Pero he reverse. He reverse. Okay, as a final scene. Doon na lumabas si Moriarty. With the killer him. With the actual killer. Alright? So it goes to show you na he wants to pick a fight with Holmes. Alright? He's chosen a uh, a challenger in Sherlock Holmes. Alright? Wow. <laughs> talk about talk about Moriarty's evil here. Well, I just could I just right now I just couldn't describe this episode. Alright? But there are funny moments because well Sherlock Holmes is being painted here as a, a struggling detective. A struggling private investigator. He couldn't pay rent. <laughs> that's that's where that's where that's where he met Dr. Watson. See Watson. Uh, they get to share the room so they, so that so that he can so that he can pay less in rent because that's the old thinking, right? Get a roommate so you can split the rent down the middle. Overall, it is a mighty good episode, all right? We're in the road to the finale, episode eight. Okay, so it's pro yeah, it's definitely fitting for for Holmes now to take the stage, all right? So. Medyo basit na rito si Moriarty. So he's now uh, being reinstated as the villain in this entire storyline. Ganda. Okay. Plot, pace, yung uh, plot, pace, saka yung flow. It is slow. It, the road to the villain is probably uh, coming to a head where in Holmes and Moriarty will face off. Kasi ganun nangyari sa ano eh. I, I, I forgot the name of that book. Eh. It's a Sherlock Holmes din yun. It's the uh, it's the book where he got framed for murder. Eto yun. <laughs> Eto yun. This was exactly this was this was exactly how the setup went down. Kung paano kung paano na setup si Holmes, right? Yeah, ang ganda. 
it is through the eyes of course of Moriarty how he how he carried out the plan then in inter- then interpretation naman ni Sherlock on how uh, kumbaga unti-unti unti-unti binabacktrack ni, ni Sherlock Holmes dito yung plano ni Moriarty na patayin ang nobleman na to at the same time uh, i-frame up siya at the same time frame him for that murder masasa mananabit pa eh no? <laughs> how evil can you get okay how evil can you get so Moriarty the Patriot episode 8 two thumbs up alright a uh, what you call this a mystery binding two thumbs up now if you guys aren't familiar with uh, with the with the entire Sherlock Holmes storyline okay especially kayo mga Gen Z at mga uh, mga Gen Z especially the Gen Z the current generation I strongly suggest you google who Sherlock Holmes is and then wag na, wag na yung character the the creator of Sherlock Holmes si Arthur Conan Doyle right I'm sure uh, and, and probably probably your local bookstore you would even buy a copy of any, buy a copy of any of the Sherlock Holmes books of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle so that you will you will get properly introduced as to why before Batman Sherlock Holmes was the world's greatest detective Hey, ilang tip ko sa inyo and you'll pro- and you will have a good idea why I gave this episode the two thumbs up so Moriarty the Patriot, episode 8. Two thumbs up. Alright. Two thumbs up. So, we're in another mini arc, folks, but it's the road to the finale. So, you better keep tabs on this anime. If there is a dark, another dark horse besides Akodama Drive this fall anime season, this is it. This is it. Moriarty the Patriot. Ikibukuro Westgate Park Episode 9 A case of uh, case of land sharking uh, Ano rito ni, ni Makoto okay. uh, Para yung set up job na ginawa sa kanila uh, na isang isang malaking company na ipag, ipaglalaban nila ang ipagsasabong nila ang G-Boys sa Red Angels that almost started a gang war okay parang ganito rin yun pero they are the aim of this company this uh, this realty firm is to drive all the residents out of a particular building out so inuuno mo nila yung mga nasa taas si Alisa na yun pababangan na sila na pababang ganun hanggang sa makarating na sila doon sa mga shop owners alright maganda okay they eventually, well, Makoto eventually found uh, found out their plans, and who does he employ to to take the uh, to take the culprit out? Shadow. <laughs> okay, okay. Lumalawas ang pagkaloko niya <laughs> to employ um, <clears throat> to employ probably one of the most wanted men in the world to help him out. Si Shadow. Grabe. Muta muta hard killer. Talagang sanay pumata itong tao to but siguro bili ni Mako to na nope, don't kill. Just meme. <laughs> Ang maximum siguro level of violence niya this, for this one is meme lang. May bila, yung 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 may pakana mismo binalian niya ng braso eh. Talagang <laughs> he twisted the guy's, the guy's arm. Literally. <laughs> so, yun nga. Um, but nag usap usap sila uh, si Makoto si King si Go yung uh, yung foster sister niya at saka yung contact niya from the Chinese embassy yung pala etong Empire Realty na doon yung realty firm na nasangkot may bumaba may bumaba ka palang organization, criminal organization dito from Kansai so narealize sila na 
hindi pa na ito ang tunay nating kalaban. Right? The real enemy is uh, is in the it's still in the background. And we found out they've been screwing they've been doing these screw jobs since episode 1 pa. Yo You guys remember that drug case Makoto handled in episode 1? Sila yun. Sila yun. So overall, wow, okay? It's a fucking good episode, okay? <clears throat> we're already on the road to the finale. And we're slowly finding out who the real enemy of the G-Boys, not just the G-Boys, not just the Red Angels, but the whole of Ikibukuro is kung sino talaga ang tunay na kalaban ng, iki, ng buong Ikibukuro. Right? The true enemy of this city. The true enemy of um, of Makoto's hometown. Okay. Wow. Mukhang malaki yung organi- organisasyon to. Right? Probably too much for the G-Boys, the Red Angels, or even, or even, or even Ikabukuro police can handle. Alright? This is slowly shaping up to be, shaping up for a slam bang finale. Who knows? Alright? We're still in, we're still, we're just, we're just two episodes away. We're just actually two, ali, two or three episodes away, depending on how, how the animators will end this. Alright? Pace, flow, yung plot. Okay, nice. All right. At first, um, nasum ko na this will be another crime anime. Nope. This is a detective anime. Much to the uh, same genre as Detective Conan. Um, also known as Case Closed in uh, in in the in in the US, but here. It's simply Detective Conan. Okay, but anyway, same genre as Detective Conan. Um, ano pa ba? Buyo and Roji's Bureau of Supernatural Investigation. Yan, parang ganun yan. Pero, mas true to life ang IWGP. Okay, mas true to life siya. Because, well, <clears throat> they're handling not just social issues there in Japan. The social issues there... It happens and it, hap- it it's happening everywhere. Okay, basically, not just in Japan, not just in Ikebukuro. So, major relate. Okay? So, Ikebukuro Westgate Park episode 9. So, thumbs up. Bakit? I'll tell you why, guys. Kasi land sharking is um Probably one of the oldest crimes to be committed. Okay? Here in the Philippines, we call that land grabbing. Okay? In, in, in more developed Asian countries, it's called land sharking. Here, it's called land grabbing. Okay? So, we too are familiar with, uh, with how, how land grabbing is done. Number one tool is harassment. So, medyo relate ako sa episode na to kasi nangyayari talaga rito sa Pilipinas yan. Okay? It's mostly done by corrupt politicians. It's mostly done by corrupt politicians. Not, not much by big businesses. Rare, it's a rare case. Eh. It's commonly done by corrupt politicians. Right here in the Philippines. Kaya, lang, pag sila mong land grabbing, ah, nako. Siguro ito, politiko may pakanaan yan. I'm very sure a politician is behind that. And uh, investigate after investigations. Yep, there is a politician behind it. Okay, so kind of related to this episode. Okay? That's why I gave it that rating. So again, Ikibukuro Westgate Park episode nine. Two thumbs up. One of the most relatable two thumbs up I have ever given. This episode. Yeah, this episode is really damn good. So. Next episode, well, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to give teasers or tips on how to watch it. Pero kasi I, I get to watch it next week. Pa yun. <laughs> next week, next week pang, next week pang bagong episode nito. So we'll just have to keep tabs on it. 
tumutok na lang tayo mga kalaysan. Tutok na lang kayo ha. Tutok na lang kayo sa IWGP. Nobles episode 9. Wow, quite the origin story episode, ano? It's a really good origin story. Now we know kung bakit immortal did si Frankenstein. Okay. Two words to describe it. Blood pack. Wala. Pero um for for me I view it as a it's as a way for Frankenstein to atone for his crimes. Okay? Because, well, Rizal took him in and took him in as a bot, as a servant. So, nga, in order for him to... Whoa. Okay, now the sound is back. <laughs> so, it's a way of... Uh, for I view it as a, as a way for... I view it as a way for Frankenstein to atone for his crimes. And, siguro, it's also a form of punishment for him. Eh. To fully submit yourself to a noble like that, to be, uh, to be subservient to him for life. Eh, being immortal, pa lang, that's punishment. Eh. You can't die. It's impossible to die. Alright? And, well, um, If this is the crime uh, Rizal committed, kaya siya napilitong umalis sa Lukidonia, then it's a stupid crime. It's a stupid crime to accuse someone of. Overall, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a really good episode. Okay? It's a really good episode. Kumaga, si Gedjutel kasi, uh, he is quite objective when he Uh, when he when he first uh, came to Rizal's house now minulat minulat siya minulat ni Frankenstein ang isipan niya now he understands he understands now uh, so the pace the flow the plot all in good right he now understands kung bakit um, ayaw nang ayaw nang ganang pamumuhay si Rizal He's very content with what he has now. Kumbaga, for Siguro for Rizal, he, he's got a family now. He has a family now. With all the people living in his house. Okay? Ilan ba sila noble doon? Uh, siya, si Regis, si Seira. Sila tato lang, ang noble doon. Si Seira, clan leader pa. Okay? Confirmed. Kasi yung Lord ngayon, uh, addressed address si Sira as a, as a young clan leader. Kasi may soul weapon nga eh. Yun ang proof eh. That's the proof of a proof of a clan leader. The soul weapon. So, yun nga lang, unfortunately, kinunong si Gadgetel. Kasi hindi nagustuhan ng ng Lord yung nireport niya. So, as a result, ito, uh, they, they, threw in, they threw him in prison And now they're sending another noble after ano naman kay Sera. The Lord wants Sera back at back to Lucedonia. Padadamputin siya. So wow, that's a great it's also a great setup for another a great setup for another great episode. All in good for us. All right? So, no bless episode 9. Thumbs up. Okay. One, uh, one of the best uh, origin stories, kind of two thumbs up. Yan ito yan. <clears throat> Bottom line, the road to the finale of this anime has started. Episode 9. This is episode 9 after all, okay? This is episode 9 after all. So, yun nga eh. And what a great way for for the road to final for the road to to start with Frankenstein's origin story. Basically, the past two episodes have been have been about Frankenstein, how he ended up 
under Rizal Ser under Rizal Servitude and how he ended up as an immortal. Okay? He is probably the first enhanced human. Pero ang gawin buhay pa rin siya. Now we know why. Blood pack. All right? It's quite a It's quite a cringy way to to become immortal, all right? To sub, to entirely submit yourself to the control of another person. Medyo creepy. But it's what makes this Oh. It's what makes this episode really good. It's what makes this episode really good. So again, no bless episode 9. Two thumbs up. I cannot wait for the final four episodes on how on how it will transpire to the finale. I just can't wait for the final four episodes. Grab no bless. I don't know why why people are passing this anime up for Jujutsu Kaisen. For uh, for ReZero, for Abayan, for Abayan, for Uzaki Chan. Hello, Uzaki Chan is one of the trashiest anime ever. This is one of the best anime this year, and you are and you're deliberately missing out on this one. <laughs> You got bad taste, normies. You got bad taste. Akudama Drive Episode 9. Tang inang hat. Cutthroat kills nearly every executioner inside their inside their own headquarters. Just to impress ordinary person. Alright? Wow. Okay. You title ng episode, it clearly reminds me of the movie The Shining. Alright? It starred Jack Nicholson and uh, and Shelley Duval. Right? It's one of Jack Nicholson's best movies. I'm telling you, because I saw it myself. And wow. It was one of the creepiest movies ever made. Right? How old was I when I saw The Shining? Uh, seven years old? <laughs> seven years old ako no, nung napanood ko yung pinigo lang yun. The entire chase scene between cutthroat and ordinary person, it's reminiscent of the final scene of that movie. Nung nag-aabunan sila ni... nag-aabunan sila, sila Jack Nicholson at saka si Shelley Duvall. Kaya nga, Serial killer si Jack Nicholson dun. Wow. It clearly reminded me of that movie. Galing. So eventually, ordinary person kills Cutthroat. Right? <clears throat> His own obsession with blood is what did him in, actually. Alright? We all know he's obsessed with the color red. Especially, and it, the color red, then of course the sight of blood. Okay. Adik sa dugo. Kaya, kaya nasasarapan siya pag pumapatay siya. Alright. Wow. I could not fathom the creepiness of this episode. Uh, it clearly, again, again, ah, it clearly reminded me of the movie The Shining. Kaya pala gano'n ang title ng movie ng episode na to. Alright. <clears throat> Overall, pace, flow, and of course, the plot. Okay? Wow. If you're a movie fan, I would strongly recommend you watch this anime. Because it's very reminiscent of those classic movies. Alright? <clears throat> This episode is no exception. Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. This is probably the show's creepiest episode. All right. If you cannot handle, if you cannot handle um the sight of blood, do not watch this episode. All right. 
I'm telling you. Pag sinabi kong dumaan ang dugo, it's an understatement. Alright? Cutthroat. Um, what you call this? Hold in every executioner he has killed inside that building into one room. Kabundo ang bangkay. Alright? Kabundo ang bangkay. Grabe. I tell you, we are nearing the finale of Akodama Drive and this, well, this is the runaway winner for creepiest episode. Alright? The cringiest episode of this show. So, Akodama Drive episode 9? Two thumbs up. A, um, more than blood curdling two thumbs up. Tangan si Katro, talagang... He... He went to great lengths just to impress ordinary person. Yung pala, ang barang niya, ang barang niya pala rito, gusto niyang patayin. Okay? Siguro gusto niyang makita yung facial expression ni ni ordinary person habang, na, habang pinapatay niya. Alright? Remember, Cutthroat is the real psycho here. Okay? Siya ang certified serial killer ng grupo. Now that he's on the loose, now, all that has happened, he's on the, he went on the loose. He went on a killing spree until he finally found his way to Executioner HQ. Ayun. Every single last one of them na nando sa building, <laughs> and nagpapake niya. Alright? <clears throat> And while all of this, while all of this was happening, there's anarchy on the streets. Okay, people have taken the law into their own hands. Kaya it makes uh, it made this episode more complicating. Okay, yun na nagpakomplika sa episode na to. All right? So people are out on the streets. Mm. Pesa si Katro. He's on. He went on a killing spree. Yun na. Un, like I said, until he found himself at. Executioner HQ. It became... That single building became a hunting ground for him. And well, ordinary person was no exception. Buti na lang, buti na lang, katulong niya si Courier. So, naidala ni Courier sa taas ng building si sister. But, too late. They've already taken brother uh, to some location un- unbeknownst to them. You know. Oh, um, wow. Okay. But, despite that, it is still this this anime's creepy, cringiest episode because of Cutthroat's killing spree. Grabe. I tell you, mga lifestyle if you're, if you're, um, what you call this? If you cringe at the sight of blood, kung talagang takot ko yung makakita ng dugo, do not watch this episode. Hindi nyo makakayanan. I'm, I'm very sure. I am 90% sure hindi nyo makakayanan ang episode na to. Alright? So again, Akodama Drive Episode 9, two thumbs up. Alright? So, next episode has been teasered. Parang hindi ako familiar sa title eh. I couldn't... I couldn't, uh, I couldn't tie it to uh, a movie reference of some sort. Eh. Pero, don't worry, I'm going to research on that once the anime is over. Okay, once the anime has ended, I'm going to research all of that. Kaya, enjoy muna natin ang anime na to. Alright, mga ka-lifestyle. It is one of the two dark horses this fall. Kaya, to miss out on this, hmm. I don't know, huh? Pero for me, you're a normie. <clears throat> Higurashi 2020 episode 10. <clears throat> you know what? Um, cringe can come can come in different ways. All right, this episode came in a. Uh, what I can say from a from a socially conscious standpoint, okay? 
from a socially conscious point of view. Now, um, sa to ko, we, uh, no, we finally know, okay, it's now confirmed. She is being abused by her uncle. And, well, all it took for everyone to to figure it all out was yung trigger. Yun nga. Tatapikin na siya sa ulo na gano'n ni Keichi. Yun, bigla siyang, po! She went ballistic. All of a sudden. Uh, lahat nagta ka. Bakit uh, bigla-bigla gumano na lang si Sato ko? So, it's, it's pretty much confirmed. She is being abused by her uncle. Alright? And the way she lashed out, um, I don't find it creepy. Okay? But I am sad. It really, um, it broke my heart. Okay? It's, uh, it's heartbreaking to watch. Okay? Hindi siya creepy. It's, it's not creepy. It's not cringy in any way. But, it's heartbreaking. Okay? To see, a child to see a child lash out like that for no reason basically for no reason so you know uh, rumors have been flying that she's being abused by her uncle okay this episode confirms it uncle he's up talagang itsura pa lang get up niya and the way he talks to people especially to that to to that teacher bastos eh Okay? Pastos ka usap. Alright? He's the real piece of shit here. Now, I won't be surprised, okay, if Keiji's dream actually comes true when he when he actually kills this guy. I'm going to enjoy watching that. Believe me, okay? Maniwala kayo. When I say that, if, uh, probably in the next episode, when his dream comes, comes true, when he actually kills him, Baka matawa pa ako. <laughs> baka, mato- baka matawa pa ako. Alright? That piece of shit needs to go down. Okay? Wow. Overall, it's a really good episode. And a socially conscious one. Why? Well, domestic abuse has been around since since time immemorial. Okay? But uh, in the past several decades, there, there are now avenues and ways of, uh, of taking down the abusers. Right? Of put, giving, of uh, teaching them a lesson on how, to, uh, on how to treat their relatives right, on how to treat um, the people around them right. Okay? <clears throat> this is probably the most social the most socially conscious episode of this anime of this uh, of the reboot okay it's probably it's most socially conscious um, episode if not if not one of the most socially conscious arcs uh, mini arcs i have uh, i've ever i've ever come across right ganda okay talagang uh, uh, it broke my heart uh, seeing Satoko that way. If you find it creepy, uh, there must be something wrong with your head. <laughs> there must be something wrong with you. Okay? If you find that creepy, nope, I did not find it creepy. I found it heartbreaking. Very sad. So, Higurashi 2020, episode 10. Two thumbs up. Okay. A moral lesson filled. Two thumbs up. I'll tell you why. Well, bottom line is, okay, no matter how sassy children can be, no matter how how much kulit they have, hindi sila dapat pagbuhatan ng kamay. Alright? As adults, tayo ang dapat magpasensya. We are the ones who should exhibit patience first in front of children. Okay? <clears throat> The days of uh, the days of well, this goes beyond spanking. Okay, this goes beyond spanking. Uh, totally abusing them. Yung konting uh, konting sabi lang ng uh, konting konting kon 
konti lang na hindi magandang hindi magandang asal eh bubugbugin mo na no okay personally when i get punished when i was a when i was a kid or when up to when i was a teenager yeah okay the punishment is the punishment was fit the punishment was fit okay kailan man hindi nagmalabi sa akin ng parents ko all right my parents my parents i i grew up in a uh, I grew up in a fair environment. I, I grew up in this house, okay? I grew up in this house. So, uh, the punish, punishment was due, yes. The punish, but the punishment was fair. Right? Uh, I was raised by... I am glad well, I was fortunate enough not... Uh, my parents weren't abusive. Okay? My parents weren't abusive. But... Talagang uh, medyo uh, talagang relate ako sa episode na to of Higurashi 2020. Kasi it's sad and heartbreaking to to uh, watch to watch anything about child abuse. Okay? It's both sad and heartbreaking. Kalevel yan ng ano eh. Kalevel actually yan ng animal rights abuse. Nang Tinatapon na lang sa tabi yung aso or pusa. Sa, dahil, sa, dahil sa konti pagkakamali lang. It's, it's that level of, ano eh, it's that level of um, heart achiness. That level of heartache. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. It's a socially conscious episode. Now, if you'd like to um, to watch this reboot if you're uh, well, if it's going to be the first time that you're going to watch Higurashi, I strongly suggest you watch this episode first, para to set the tone, para hindi ka, para hindi ka yung mabigla as to the general creepiness, the general um, psyche of this anime. Pero itong I assure you, this episode isn't creepy. But absolutely heartbreaking. Okay. Nantik talaga ako. Naglash out si Sato ko. All right. <clears throat> There's nothing creepy. There's nothing creepy about this episode, but it is heartbreaking, especially the final scene. All right. So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 10. Two thumbs up. Wow. Okay. I hope Keiji actually kills him. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy watching that. <laughs>